the Philippine government has approved a budget totaling PHP 38 billion for the acquisition of new built vessels by the country's navy. The service's most senior official told local reporters on Monday. Navy Flag Officer and Command Vice Admiral Robert M. Pedrade said the approved budget will cover the procurement of two corvettes and eight fast attack interdiction craft. The Admiral added that the corvettes will feature more sophisticated weapons systems compared to those that will be fitted on the two Jose Rizal class frigates slated to enter service starting next. Year while the fast attack craft will be armed with surface-to-surface -surface missiles capable of hitting targets up to 25 kilometers away. The Philippine Navy's second Jose Rizal class missile frigate BRP Antonio Luna has received delivery and acceptance approval. The approval was given by a joint department of National Defense and Philippine Navy Inspection Team. According to the agreed timeline, BRP Antonio Luna is scheduled to sail out of Alson on 5 February and expected to arrive in Subic, Philippines on 10 February. The delivery of BRP Antonio Luna comes more than one month ahead of the contractual delivery date of 6 March. BRP Antonio Luna missile frigate was launched at the South Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries Ulsan Shipyard in November 2019. The country's first frigate BRP Jose Rizal was delivered in May 2020 and commissioned in July 2020. In December 2019, he completed the first sea trials of BRP Jose Rizal. The two frigates were procured under a contract at a cost of PHP 16 BN. The procurement of weapon systems and ammunition costed a further PHP 2 BN. The Philippine Navy will use the ships in support of anti-surface, anti-submarine, and anti-air warfare, as well as electronic warfare. Frigate Technical Inspection and Acceptance Committee Chairman Rear Admiral Alberto Carlos said, the second frigate has satisfactorily passed all vessel performance test protocols. Moreover, we are happy to report that the HE has provided additional equipment and sustainment items, more training activities, and ship design improvements, which are over and above its contractual obligations. His goodwill gesture has an estimated value of $7.4 million. Meanwhile, the Navy will take delivery of a decommissioned South Korean Navy Pohang class Corvette and three more Mark III multi-purpose attack craft within the next two months. The contract for the construction of two light frigates was signed between the Philippines and he in October 2016. The contract was signed following the victory of he in an international tender. The tender purchase value of the two ships was determined to be 15.744571584 billion Philippine pesos. This price point is for the ship only. According to the shipyard, the frigates for the Philippines are based on an he design, which is a smaller version of the ancient frigates being built for the rogue navy fleet.
the Philippine frigates have a standard displacement of about 2,600 tons and a length of 107 meters. The diesel main power plant under the CODET scheme should provide a full speed of 25 knots, a cruising range of 4,500 nautical miles at a speed of 15 knots. The Philippine frigate had four anti-ship missile launchers, two Simbad RC short-range SAM system by MNA, a 76mm main gun, one Asselson Smash 30mm secondary gun, two 324mm three-tube torpedo launchers. They are fitted for but not with an 8XL VLS for surface-to-air missiles. The ship has an helicopter deck and hangar to accommodate a Leonardo AW-159 Lynx Wildcat helicopter. Most of the sensor and electronic suites are provided by Thulse.